Espera, estaba juntando piezas. So, this is the tracker. A witcher, yes? Indeed, this is him. We found the body together. Then he set off in pursuit of the killer. And ended up here, but I've only found evidence of a fight. Seems the Centrians killed his last. Finally failed this time. Shame it happened too late for Cecilia. Poor girl. Always told her she chose her males badly. But I would never have suspected she could arrive with a murderer. I'll alert the staff. Have them see to her body at once. Meanwhile, we should sit. I will tell you everything in full detail. Ha sido cosa mía, sus pechos han hecho un movimiento extraño. Pregunto. I caught him red-handed, attempting to burgle, rifling through my possessions. What did you do? Summon the guards? There was no time. I feared he'd escape, refused to give him the chance. He stood with his back to me, so I attacked. He struck his head on a picture frame as we struggled. He was bleeding, dazed, and then he drew a knife. Everything happened very quickly then. I knocked the weapon out of his hand and pushed him hard. He fell out of the window. Just so. None too wise picking a fight with an armed robber. Why? Because I'm a woman, in a frock rather than plate. I can take care of myself, I assure you. A hairpin might look like me. El modelo de esta mujer está muy bien hecho. Me estoy fijando y parece jodidamente real. No es como Henrietta o, o Geralt. El suyo me parece muy real porque no tiene tantos detallitos ni tonterías variadas. Si se ve de frente, me lo parece. Why, that's the heart of Toussaint. Oriana, how did you ever come to have it? I bought it many years ago from a young woman. Jewel seems important. Why? The heart is an heirloom. It belonged to my family for years. Then it disappeared. I didn't think we would ever recover it. Seems someone is very determined to find it. The thief left his tool bag behind. Found this drawing inside it. Look. The heart of Toussaint. Representation's pretty faithful. Centrian must have been on a job. Got very clear instructions what to look for. So... So it is not him we seek, but his employer. Is this the only evidence we found? Also happened on the weapon he attacked Oriana with. Hunting knife. Used to skin game. Got an emblem on its hilt. This crest is used by the lords of Duntime. The present master of the castle is a passionate hunter. Our next lead, perhaps. Duntime. Remember the place. Abandoned ruin just a few years ago. More recently, the family's last heir, Roderick, returned to his ancestral seat and restored the castle. Know any more about this Roderick? His grandfather was an advisor to Queen Ademartha. The family received those lands as a grant for his service. Roderick is quite the recluse. He avoids society, preferring the company of a small team of knights. Though the latter term is imprecise, as they seem more akin to vandals with crests on their shields. Oriana, everything we discussed here, hope you'll keep it to yourself. Counting on it, in fact. Word gets out he, uh, failed in his attempt to steal the jewel. His employer could run. We need to proceed cautiously. Discretion is in the interest of us all. I'll not ask what this is about, just as I expect not to be troubled about it again. By anyone. <clears throat> Forgive me, Madam Oriana. 
But might I have a word? You must excuse me a moment. Oriana, any thoughts? Few make me feel awkward, but in her presence, I sense anxiety, discomfort. The drawing. It's on the same type of paper the victim's names were written on. Drawn with the same ink, too. Seems the work of our blackmailers. They were not only behind the beast's murders, but also stole the Son Real and sought to steal the heart of Toussaint. Look, the wine, the jewel, both tied to you intrinsically. Coincidence? Not something I'm willing to believe. Worried about one thing. That somewhere at the end of this scheme, plan might call for an attempt on your life. It... it could be something else altogether. My sister, Siana, might be among the schemers. She left court when we were children. My parents banished her from the duchy. I've not seen her since. What did your sister do to get banished? Siana was... cursed. Parents run afoul of some mage? No. She was born at an inopportune moment. They said she was touched by the curse of the Black Sun. Gerhard, is it true? Can an individual be evil because they were born during the wrong lunar phase? Could be the case. Could also be because they were treated like lepers from birth. Isolated, prodded, ostracized. Couldn't have had it easy, Siana. She... She was angry at the whole world. She felt inferior, felt pain. Though she masked this with confidence, arrogance even. She could also be cruel at times. I recall one such situation. She persuaded Cedric the Coolbert that she could see the future in her dreams. We were children, and Cedric's brother was smitten with me. It was an innocent childhood crush. Siana knew of it. She told Cedric of a dream she had had, that he would die at the hands of his own brother. Cedric stole his father's sword and killed his brother. She destroyed two lives with a prank. Cedric mourns to this day. In the end, they forced her to leave the palace. A decade passed. More. I've missed her terribly since. Think your sister might be involved? Why? You see... I recall her always being rather possessive, throwing jealous fits if I had something she didn't. Here, yeah, that's normal for sisters. Rivalry. True. I suppose I gave as good as I got. There are times I miss that very much. The wine, its theft was the first clue. That's very much like her. She always did enjoy stealing my toys. But I grew almost certain when I saw the heart of Tusa. Siana received it from father as a gift. At a time when my parents thought of her as but an ill-behaved little girl, someone wanted some of my wine. The same someone ordered our family jewels stolen. Or recovered. It's my sister. It must be. A fallen princess satisfying whims, going after lost luxuries? Hmm. Could be right. Your mission has gained new import. You must go to Dun Tyne, and if Siana is there, you must find her. No matter what she did, she is not to be harmed in any way, shape or form. You must make sure of that. I'll find her if she's there. I hope you do. I very much wish to talk to her, sister to sister. Your Grace? Geralt, I'd like to introduce... Regis! What a surprise! I had no idea you were in Beauclair. And this is... 
Uh, my very dear friend, Detlaf van der Erite, an arrival from Nazaire. We are lending our combined resources to the witch's hunt. Ah, yes. Splendid. Oh, 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 oh. Vera, 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 vera. La cosa es que conocen a Regis. A surprise visit, so I invited Regis in for a glass of wine. We've known each other for ooh, ages, literally. Witcher, I hear you know Regis too, even that you are friends. No jodas que la tía también es una vampira. Completamente cierto. Few I can rely on like I can on Regis. I hope he thinks the same of me. Curious. It seems opposites really do attract. Don't be fooled, dear. Geralt has many merits. He merely hides them from the world very diligently. Mm -hmm. You said you're both aiding him with his contract. It involves the Beast of Beauclair, I suspect. Master Witcher, maybe you could satisfy my curiosity. What's it like going toe to toe with a monster? Knowing you've only two options, to kill or be killed. Despite what you might have heard, I don't lunge at every monster I see, sword in hand. Talking gets the job done for some. Hmm. I wonder what a monster might have to say to you. It might want to apologize. My word. For what might the monster wish to apologize to a witcher? For killing. Though at times there is no choice, when loved ones are at risk and require protection. ¿Cómo me lo ponen a contrarreloj? Eso no es excusa. Y así como los humanos por lástima. Same as humans. But then in that situation, they'll kill too. You understand this. It must be why you and Regis are friends. If I understand you correctly, you would rather help a monster than kill it. If possible, yeah. Or at least try. Enough about the Witcher trade for now. Regis mentioned you come from Nazaire. I spent time there as a child. Fond memories? It was wonderful. I was positively entranced by the land's fashions. Deep cut dresses I found most fascinating. I believe we're running short on wine. I should go to the cellar, bring another bottle. Let me go. When I help Regis, know your wine a lot better than I know mine. We shall return forthwith. An exceptional conversation, don't you think? Vampires, a witcher, and the Duchess of Toussaint? My, my. Highly exceptional, Regis. Wanted to talk to you in private. You crazy bringing Detloff here? Geralt, uh, allow me to explain. No, let me explain. He's dangerous, and you are gonna watch him. But that is precisely what I'm doing. Detloff believes you'll succeed in your task, and he'll not need to kill anymore. That is, not until he gets his hands on the men who kidnapped his Renner. Oriana, she really your friend? Can she be trusted? Uh, I met her years ago, before I met you, and before she settled in Beauclair. We'd not seen one another in... Uh, oh, I, I can't begin to tell you in how long. But I shall tell you all about her some other day. Guessing it's no accident you two stopped by. It would be quite some coincidence indeed. No, a dutiful little bird told us. Mm -hmm. Now listen close. Manage to learn where the blackmailers are. They're based at Duntine Castle. That's splendid news. If they are there, Renna must be there as well. Duchess expects we'll find her long lost sister there too. Thing is, she might be involved. Could be behind the blackmailing. Do you mean to say your task now is to extract two women from the castle? Mean to say we can't breathe a word of this to Dedloff, who wants revenge above all else. Geralt, you must trust me. I've got a way with... No, Regis. Can't risk it. Gotta keep Dedloff here while I go to Duntime. Alone? Alone. That way I can make sure neither woman will come to any harm. I hope you know what you're doing. Fine. I shall see to Dedloff. Good luck, my friend. Splendidly, Detlaf. Ah, oh, I'm grateful you brought back those memories. You're back. It took you long enough. 
Contrary to what common folk believe, choosing a wine is not nearly as easy as it might seem. Especially a wine to be served to two exquisite ladies. Regis, gallant as ever. I regret all the more that I shan't finish this second bottle with you. Duty calls. Your grace, always a pleasure. I thank you for your help. It's been invaluable. Geralt, will you see me out? You have exceptional friends. This Detlef, an intriguing man to say the least. Don't know him too well. He say much about himself? Not much, but I've a good sense of the true nature of those I meet. I'd not survive a week at court otherwise. So what's his? Sensitive, sad. He carries within him the weight of a terrible tragedy. He is a good man, but lost, which is why he comes across as grim. Didn't expect the evening to end like this. Neither did I. But I have not drawn you out for a romantic stroll. I wish to make certain you know what you are to do. Mm-hmm. Gotta go to Dantine. I've decided my guardsmen will support you. You will meet them at Count Lacroix's mill. It stands along the San Retour River. Near the Cockatrice Inn. Captain de la Tour and his men will await you there at midnight. You shall storm the castle together. Ay, por fin ha terminado la charla, madre mía. Habréis visto el episodio cortado en dos, voy a hacer esta será la segunda parte del episodio anterior en el que habréis visto un corte repentino por la sencilla razón de que se me estaba alargando mucho. Es más, habéis visto que se me ha alargado hasta el punto de ahora mismo que he terminado la, la conversación. Madre mía, qué conversación más larga. Pero se ha puesto, eh, que se ha puesto muy, muy interesante el temario. Así que vamos a ir hasta aquí, vamos a... Voy a dejarlo todo listo para... Uh, nivel 48 y todo. He subido dos niveles del... Bueno, es que el... estaba a nivel 46, estaba con la barra ya al 90%, 95% casi. No me extrañaría haber subido dos niveles enteros porque me han dado un montón de experiencia. Nueva misión, toma del castillo. Ah, vale, esa es la misión principal, perfecto. Pues nada, gente, habéis visto el episodio cortado en dos. La segunda mitad ha sido todo conversación, no habéis visto nada de movimiento, pero es que si no iba a ser un episodio de 40 minutos y no me hace, como digo... Siempre lo digo, no me hace mucha gracia alargar un episodio tanto. Así que... Te... Ah, mira, tenemos que ir a nuestra finca. Me voy a enseñar la armadura de... La armadura de gato que tengo ahí mejorada en Gran Maestro. Solo tengo la armadura, la... El... el peto. El peto y las botas. Me faltan los guantes y... Y los pantalones. Perro y gato, madre mía, ahí todos juntitos. Eh, eh, y además también está Marlene aquí. ¿Dónde está Marlene? Está siempre en la cocina esta mujer. Te cuenta. Está cocinando, siempre está cocinando. Wait, what? ¿Me da un buen revolcón? Mi ca Creo que ya la enseñé mejorada. No estoy ahora mismo seguro de si la enseñé o no. Pero vamos, ahí está mi casa. El escudo. El de este de armadura, ¿veis? Esta es la, la nueva armadura de gato. Ya la veréis completita cuando esté. La planta de arriba. Y ya que estoy aquí, voy a dejar las botas de. Eh, a ver, esto. Este mismo. Este mismo. Este mismo. Y las botas, voy a dejar las botas o sunas magistrales. Y ahora voy y cojo esto. No. ¿Qué, ¿Qué he hecho? ¿Qué he hecho? ¿He dejado las botas? No, no he dejado nada. Da igual, ya me las apañaré yo cuando vea. Como digo, gente, lamento el episodio este que haya sido simplemente de información. Todos los episodios han sido muy... Muy de historia. Así que, como siempre, espero que os haya gustado... Es que no puedo hablar muy alto porque son ya las unas. Y hay gente intentando dormir. Gente, como siempre, espero que os haya gustado el vídeo. No olvides votarlo si ya se ha sido. Nos vemos en el próximo episodio de The Witcher. Vale, no está micromuteado, creía que sí. De The Witcher 3, Blood and Wine. Adiós.